Hello, Dr. Karen Can here. Welcome to another edition of the Spiritual Medicine Digest. And this week's topic is the question, are you on target? Now, a lot of people have been using this term to say that someone is on target when they actually get censored or canceled uh, and therefore they must be over the target or on target. I'm not really talking about that, although I suppose it's related. What I'm talking about are kind of the three key things that will help us as a group, as a community, as all of humanity, get to the next stage where we are fully free, prosperous, harmonious, joyful. Yeah, these are possibilities. And I know sometimes looking around the world, it seems like, wow, Dr. Karen, you are a dreamer. This sounds impossible. But here's the thing. Everything that's ever been created that is like high tech or something that we never thought could happen, like flying on a plane, people said it was impossible. Running a four minute mile, people said it was impossible. For 20 years that never happened until Roger Bannister broke that record. And then soon after that, many people did. So here's the thing. If you really want to experience all those things, joy, harmony, peace, health, radiant health, wonderful relationships. It is absolutely possible. And it starts with your perception or perceptions. It starts with your perceptions. So you can see everything as a problem or you could see everything as an opportunity to get to the next stage of your spiritual growth, uh, the next stage of your evolution. Even difficult things are often, you know how that saying is like, you know, um, challenge is the necessity is the mother of invention, something like that, right? <laughs> Forgot the actual blurb, but you know what I mean. It's like when we are challenged as humans, that's when we rise. That is when our creativity rises, if we allow it to be. Just because you don't necessarily know how to solve the ocean plastic problem, guess what? Other people have. Now, some of their voices may be a little bit, you know, seemingly obscure, you don't know where they are, but believe me, there are a lot of smart and amazing creative people out there and each have their own areas of interest. So just because you don't know the 5,000 things that could be done to save this planet and humanity doesn't mean that your contribution is small or unimportant. It absolutely is important because you're unique and every unique person has their own perception. And if you are allowing yourself to notice that, hey, there's a challenge here, how can I re-perceive this challenge as something that is for my highest and greatest good and maybe the highest and greatest good of humanity? I'll give you a solid example. So, you know, many people who are very concerned, let me say concerned, um, about the safety of the jab, were upset that the FDA approved one of the brands, um, which is going to rename it. Uh, you know, they, they approved it uh, for licensed use for people, you know, um, 16 and older, and it's still under an emergency use authorization for people younger than that. So there are people that are like, this is a dark day, you know, uh, yada, yada, yeah, because, uh, you know, there is corruption and, you know, this shouldn't happen and so on and so forth, right? And there are people even arguing that, oh, it wasn't really an approval. So I'm not going to go into that part, but here's the thing. So maybe it's not what you want to see. You know, maybe you are one of the folks that are um, not very trusting maybe of, you know, pharmaceutical companies. Yeah, I know they paid out billions and damages and things like that. And um, for various different things over the years, right? And is it possible that all of a sudden, you know, they've come clean and uh, yes, they're, you know, making billions of dollars, but you know, <laughs> it's possible, right? So I'm not saying you should be Pollyanna or not be concerned if you are concerned. If you've been injured by Big Pharma or somebody you know has been injured, I totally get it. You can be concerned, right? But here's the thing. What if you could perceive this approval as a positive thing? What if you could perceive this as a positive thing? What would that look like? Maybe this helps with 
Transparency. Penny Pierce in her book, Transparency, one of three amazing books, this is the third one, talks about how this is an energy that will not stop right now. This is what's happening on the world, the whole transparency thing. Whether people consciously or not consciously, you know, work on it, it's happening. Things are coming to light, hidden things coming to light. So I think people are very creative. In fact, there were some uh, on Instagram I saw, some, you know, wellness folks, some uh, naturopathic doctors and that kind of thing was saying, hey, there are things that are FDA approved that actually are harmful, whereas there are things that are not FDA approved that are actually beneficial, some natural supplements and vitamins, minerals, and, and things like that. Well, you get to approve things because, well, they get to approve things that are patented and you can't really pack and patent natural substances. So that's the issue there. So then maybe this increases the average person's awareness of how the FDA works or should work, right? Maybe they become more aware of, oh, wait a second. Hey, there's these things that are approved and I know that's not good for me. I know that's not healthy. So instead of blindly, you know, following, wow, that's approved must be good kind of, you know, one plus one equals two kind of, you know, equation, they might go, well, it's approved. And I just, wow, I just found out that these other things are approved and these other healthy, safe things are not approved. So what does FDA approval really mean at the end of the day? Does it automatically mean it's healthy and from a highest and greatest good? Maybe not, right? So maybe there, that's an example of how we can turn a perception that seems like a challenge and negative thing to some people to something positive it may really serve the greater good for this to happen. So, so are you on target? So the perception, where is your perception focused? Okay, and, and that goes to the next thing. Number two, attention. Is your attention on target? So people right now are very worried. I, I know I'm in a group where, you know, these are moms and dads and parents are very concerned about their children going to school, they want to go to college, and, you know, they're, they're um, concerned about mandatory, uh, you know, shots and uh, masking and all that kind of thing. So they're really, really concerned about the health and welfare of their children. Their children really want to go to school, right? <laughs> yeah. Before, like, we didn't want to go to school, but now we're like, we really want to go to school, <laughs> you know? So where's our attention on target? Our attention, where, quote unquote, should it be if we were to get to that end point of harmony, peace, joy, love, freedom, our target attention should be on the future reality that we are creating together because you know quantum physics you know a little bit about that we do create our own reality through our perceptions etc cetera, etc cetera. i'm not going to go into a whole lecture about quantum physics but here's the thing people that know how to do that how to create their realities okay they perceive things differently and their attention is different and where's their attention their attention is focused and on target to what it is they wish to create, not what it is they don't want. And here's the big thing, because most people are focused on what they don't want. They're very short-sighted. They only see what is here in front of them. And as, as long as they see what has happened in the past, they will continue manifesting or co-creating the past. Then those of us who are seeing that further vision, that far-sighted vision, if you will, of the ideal reality we wish to create, we have to do a little bit more work possibly Okay, because there's that many people just looking here. So look ahead. Now, I have used this in the healing uh, realm many, many times with great success. I, I mean, it's more than that I can cover today, but I'll just give you an example. So a loved one seemingly had a heart attack, heart not working, uh, CPR, 20 minutes. They said he was going to be brain dead. And I'm like, not on my watch. <laughs> right. So, of course, I don't have full control of the situation. But this is what I did, and I encourage you to do the same. I visualized this person over and over and over again, healthy, happy, smiling, joking. And yes, he likes to make these prodding jokes, you know. So I, he's, he's a funny guy, right? So I just kept seeing him over and over again in that space. Was I guaranteed he was going to wake up and, and have his brain function? No, absolutely not. The doctors already told the family, don't expect too much. He might be brain dead. He might be a vegetable. He had CPR for 20 minutes with, before they shocked his heart back, right? Yeah, did I do some extra healing work on him and get permission from his higher self? Yeah, I did. I did. But the point was, the most powerful thing was me seeing that person happy, healthy, and playing with his grandchildren. 
And that's exactly what happened. And you have that power too. So what is your attention focused on? Is it on target? Is it on the target, what you want to create or what you intend for the future? Or is it just focused right in front of you on what's already happened in the past and you're reacting to it? Okay, third piece, we got perception, attention. The third piece is action. Are your actions on target? Are your actions aligned with your chosen perception and your chosen focus of attention? So in this case, perceiving that everything is for my highest and greatest good. I don't know how it is, but it is. I'm gonna make up a story if I need to, that it is for the highest and greatest good. How could this be good for us, right? And then that attention, attention to what it is that we are creating as opposed to what's happened in the past that we do not wish to create. Is our actions aligned and on target with that? Is it consistent with that? Or is it consistent with fear or consistent with the past? So that's what Source asked me to share with you today. Are you on target with your perceptions, your attention and your action? If this video has been helpful for you, I'd love for you to comment below. And uh, we're gonna do a little Topican healing right now. If you wish to receive, you can close your eyes, feel your body. I'm gonna do a, what's called a Topican healing directive. And it's just gonna help support this piece that we talked about today. It's very, very simple. Let me know in the comments how it feels in your body after the healing, if you chose to receive, would love to, love to know. Here we go, so you can close your eyes if you'd like, if it's safe for you to do that. I now command that anything preventing you, me, and all of us from fully being on target with our perceptions, attention, and action for what it is we truly wish to create in our ideal, peaceful, loving, harmonious, prosperous, free future. Be healed in the highest and best way, all directions of time and all timelines where we exist with ease, speed, and grace. So go ahead and feel your body and just notice if there's any shifting going on, would love for you to post that in the comments below. Now I have a few announcements for this week. So number one is that I have a new free micro training mini series and it's called Healing Myths, Mistakes and Misconceptions. So I have a series of these, you know, these are things that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time and finally got around to having time to do it. <laughs> and I'm super excited about this because it's stuff that I have not put in a series before. I've been talking to my one-on-one -on -one clients over the decades and years about these concepts, but, uh, but the greater, you know, community has not necessarily um, been able to, you know, tune in or tap into this type of source wisdom in this way. So I hope you really enjoy this. I will post a link to the playlist. And um, as of this recording, they are being released one a day and eventually you'll have them all there in the playlist. So definitely check in every day in the playlist. Also, we have it scheduled on YouTube and Facebook. So you'll see when the next one is released. I hope you enjoy those and I hope you share them if you feel aligned to share that and uh, post in the comments with your perceptions and some of the questions I've asked as well during these videos. Second announcement is that um, if you're new to light medicine and wanna learn more about energy medicine, how it worked, quantum physics, and attention, attention, manifestation, then definitely come to my next three hour interactive workshop. We'll be doing mini healings and uh, demonstrating a uh, brand new protocol actually for people. Uh, so this one is um, at Friday, I'm reading off here, Friday, September 3rd at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So you can go to karencan.com forward slash heal faster to learn more about uh, this three hour interactive workshop and you can register right there on the page. Uh, next is um, Saturday, August 28th um, is the last day. So if you may be watching this on a Saturday, this is the last day to get in your order for the Ascension 3 energy infused jewelry. So the jewelry that's uh, infused with Topican healing activation energies to help protect you, clear you, heal you automatically. Uh, we have a whole mini series for that as well that you can find on the website. So ascension3.net is the website. And um, after we close, my staff will go ahead and do fulfillment the next week. And we have a lot of orders and I apologize that the pyramids sold out within I think 24 hours or so um, or, or 36 hours, something like that we will attempt to get more. It does take time to make them, no, I'm not making them somebody else, you know, time to make them and ship them and infuse them and all that kind of stuff. So thank you 
for your patience. And I'm, I'm sorry if you were disappointed if they were sold out, but we have a lot of other things in the store as well. So definitely check out ascension3.net before the end of the 28th. Uh, if you're looking for some uh, support, energy support, healing support, and then our store won't be open again until a month later. So um, last but not least, I want to tell you about uh, an amazing immersion retreat going on online. It's uh, my mentors at the uh, Center for Conscious Entrepreneurs, formerly Wellness Leadership Academy, is holding the Amplify Your Impact four-day online event. Um, their four-day uh, online events have been awesome. Now, I went to the live event in Fiji related to this money manifestation. Um, and here's the cool thing. If you have a business or you just want more prosperity and abundance, this is the four-day retreat for you. Um, we're going to be working on the energetics as well as practical, you know, business advice. <laughs> There's very few um, retreats that have the combination beautifully intertwined. So it's not just about marketing techniques per se and it's not just about energy healing or sacred geometry it's the combination of them and i really loved what we did in fiji and i would do it again in a heartbeat right now i'm not traveling they're not traveling um so we have it online and uh this has been what four or five years i can't remember when the last thing that fiji was but it was a while ago so i'm super excited they're actually revealing this for the public as opposed to just our closed group to be able to access. So I'll put the link near this video. You can check it out, see if it resonates with you. FYI, there are healing activations during this retreat. So there's group ones and then there's more individualized ones uh, or more specific ones. And there is a VIP option. So if you wanna get more personalized healing, uh, then I would choose the VIP option, okay? Uh, if not, you know, just, just get the general, which is fine. Um, I think you're going to absolutely love it. I'm going to be there the whole time helping to hold space. I'm also going to be one of the coaches there uh, to help out if need be. And uh, so I really hope to see you there because it's going to be great. Um, we're going to have a wonderful time. And I know every time I'm at one of these immersions uh, with my mentor, I, I grow and I, I just, you know, get so much out of it. So I'm super excited to share this with you, my tribe, uh, who've been invited to this. So we got a lot of stuff going on uh this month next month and i look forward to connecting with you further until next time lots of love and bye for now